Pac Man only started out as a screenshot, I only did it to show that you could do a good version with four colours as long as you did a three of a go. There are lots of articles on Pac Man, but the one I found most useful while writing the game is called the Pac Man dossier. The first thing I, that I noticed when I started playing my version of Pac Man is that Pac Man was very, very slow. This is because on the first level he starts at 80% of his normal speed, and because of running on a BBC Micro at 50 frames per second, this felt very slow compared to the where I just finished playing 60 frames per second in an arcade version. There were two ways that I thought of to make Pac-Man not feel so sluggish. First was to shrink the graphics to three quarters size, which would mean that it would be pretty much the same time to get from one dot to the next at 50 FPS as it would at 60 in the arcade. Uh, so I put a little pole up and that wasn't a very popular solution. So the other thing I did was I readjusted all the speeds so that the fastest moving thing on the level would be going at one pixel per frame and everything else scaled to that. So on the first level Pac-Man now starts at 95% speed and not 80. There are a lot of subtleties in Pac-Man that I'd never realised were there or I'd heard of them but hadn't appreciated them for what they are. I first put in the rules for the ghost movement, when the, the way they run away sometimes and the way they chase you sometimes. Uh, then the L voice, so the red ghost speeds up after a certain time and then speeds up a bit more right near the end of the, the level. Uh, the ghost slowing down when they turn blue. Uh, it, all, it all really affects the gameplay. Uh, but I kept getting killed in the middle of the maze, uh, either just above their little home den pen thing, or a little way below it. And then I realised I hadn't implemented the no entry for ghosts. So there's four places where a ghost can't go up, but Pac-Man can. And putting those in really makes those, those very unsafe areas actually safe areas, and the tactic is to sit in them and wait for the ghost to go past as long as they're below you. Uh, I guess that's exactly the, the experience that they had when they were making Pac-Man, that they were was too dangerous and they did start to make them safer. Uh, and it makes it a much more playable game, and a lot easier. Right at the end of the game, I was running out of memory, as usual, and had to choose between putting the little intermission animation in, or, the li or making the eyes run back to the maze when you eat the ghost. In the end I decided I liked the intermission best because it had extra music. In case you're wondering, Pac-Man frame, the drawing at least, starts right at the bottom of the maze, clears Pac-Man, then it draws the four ghosts with masking so that they can overlap each other nicely, then it draws Pac-Man, and finally redraws any dots that have been erased by the ghosts or Pac-Man. <laughs>